Hi everyone, this is WebOS Roundup. Today I'm going to be reviewing Need for Speed Undercover by EA Mobile. This game costs $9.99 on the app catalog. This is a driving game, once again, similar to Asphalt 5. Uh, there are several major differences, though. One is the graphics. The graphics on this game, while very nice, are not in the same league as Asphalt 5. They're a little muddier, they're a little blockier, uh, but uh, it still looks good. But if you're wanting a showpiece, you might want to stick with Asphalt 5. This game, though, has a story, which is really what sets it apart. And I, for one, really, really enjoyed this game. And it was actually the first game that I have played on the phone where I actually looked forward to sitting down and actually spending some quality time with it. So that says a lot. Uh, this is uh, a game where you can customize your car. You can see I've got two here and you can see all your stats. They're a lot more pronounced than they were in Asphalt 5. And there's a lot more customization you can do. Here is where we can upgrade. You can change things with decals and do a lot of different visuals. There's little things on the side you can do. You can also do change your rims. You can change even your hydraulics, which I think are just purely uh, cosmetic if you want a low rider or something like that. You can also change your uh, spoiler. You can repaint it. You can even add some front stuff, which you saw on my RX-8. So once you have your car looking good, you can then make it faster. You can change the top speed, acceleration, handling, and their nitrous. Once you have your car performing the way you want it to, you can go out on the track. There are There's full motion video that allows you to get into the story. Basically, your goal is to uncover the stolen items that the bad guys have taken. It's kind of vague, but and it's pretty generic, but it is done, it's presented well, especially for a mobile game. No complaints here at all. There's full motion video, which shows you what's going on, and you have a um, female handler for a government agency who likes to wear very tight clothing, as you might have guessed. Um, but you're essentially given an excuse to r drive these different courses. You can see I've driven quite a few of them, but I have not beaten the game. Um, you can see here I'll drive this one. This is the last one I've got going here. The goal here is to uh, get far enough ahead of the bad guy in this case to win the whole thing. And you can see there's going to be some flavor text here. Got the 1980s mouth m movement there. And once you get going here, you can see again that the graphics are a little blockier, but again, it's just it's not going to take away from the game. What will my what will take away from the game a little bit is the soundtrack. It sounds like a bad 80s uh, hairband, but uh, you can kind of ignore it or you can turn it off. I have it kind of low, so you can kind of hear it in the background. Now the angle at which I'm playing at is uh, makes it a little difficult, but you can see I'm drifting. Well, I spit out of there. You have nitrous, and you do that by sliding up. You can pause the game with a double slide down. So I think there's some really nice control things there that uh, other games might learn from being able to manipulate the screen well. You can see if I get too far behind here, I'll automatically lose. Now this game is definitely not um, a simulator of any sort, but it is a lot more realistic than, say, asphalt. And there's no power-ups. There's no... Uh, um, crazy uh, shortcuts or jumps or anything like that, but as you might have guessed, um, the physics model's a little forgiving. They saw me running into some blocks there and now I'm drifting all over the place. Um, so you can see it is, it's not uh, going to be uh, Gran Turismo, but it is made to um, be, be a little more realistic than say your standard ar uh, arcade -y kind of action games. So this is the driving. We'll back up just a second. Let me pause it. You can see we jump out of here, restart the race, go back to the main menu. Overall, I think this game is extremely well done. It definitely will be a top pick. I think it's a, a must pick up for anyone who's really enjoying uh, showing off their games to their friends or just wants a really quality game on their, on their phone. Um, if uh, there was anything I would complain about again, it would be the graphics and the soundtrack's a little weak. But those are really minor in comparison to the joy that can be found in this game. This has been WebOS Roundup. Please visit us at webosroundup.com. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.